Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Blood for Land 1.1. Now, when we left off, we had just had a little bit of a problem, and, well, we did one of the easier missions because the first one was very, very overwhelming, shall we say. It's probably because I didn't have the right strategy, and many of you have given me some tips. So, thank you very much for that, because I thought that might be the case where... It was something to do with, you know, getting a huge amount of archers, getting them in a good position, and then obviously getting some nice infantry out the front to protect them a little bit. Obviously, I did not realize at the time what kind of mission that was, so at least now I know. So anyway, we are now here with Anouk. I believe that this is actually a companion. Maybe. I can use some aid in my conquests. Yes, there we go. Sounds reasonable. Ah, there we go. So now now she has joined us for 1200 A reasonable price. I was expecting something very expensive. There is another companion here somewhere, and I was actually attempting to find him or her, because they are only 4500 oh, oh, yes, by the way, I just did the tournament, the two-handed tournament again, and I actually got a couple of hits on the Duel Master this time, but... Yeah, what, what was it, the Duel Lord? Yeah, it's the Duel Lord or something along those lines, but yes, I got a couple of hits on him, and I th I believe he has about, what is it, 700 HP or something? And I think I got about 300 damage on him or something like that, so that was that was actually pretty decent, but unfortunately, yeah, he, he took me out again. So, let's have a look. I think this is the guy. You look like a soldier, do you need work? I could use another soldier. 5,000! Oh my! Okay, well, uh, hopefully he's good. Hopefully he's really good. Okay, what about a West Frack trader? I'd like to view your special items. Hmm, hello there. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, yeah, the, these are these are not... Oh, oh my. Who's going to have 101,000? I don't know who's going to have 101,000. Certainly not I, at any point, probably. But yeah, anyway, I came into West Frack again primarily to get our companions. And then I thought to myself, hmm, maybe we're going to go and do that... Yurix keep thing again, you know, the one where we got overrun, but I then thought to myself, probably not the best idea, because I haven't upgraded my composite bowman, because apparently upgrading the composite bowman is probably the best way to go with that, but I think we'll probably help out Lord Vankaman again, as yes, a tough fighter like you, okay, so let's do it. The main dining hall, oh my. Oh, ally morale and enemy morale. Oh, okay, so we actually do have allied morale this time around. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about this because Anouk has no gear. Yeah, she doesn't have any gear at all, so her coming in here is <laughs> probably pretty bad. Oh no, these are brute peasants as well. Brute peasant, take that. Moon Moon will see to it that you will not ever breathe in this town again because you're dead so you're not breathing obviously but yes anyway at least a nook actually does reappear after a couple of seconds so that's actually pretty nice i wonder whether the countdown of the respawn has any effect with the amount of what is it with the amount of gear that they have because if that is indeed the case then maybe it's actually a good idea to keep them at a pretty ow oh, ouch that was that was kind of that was kind of sad do i respawn do I, do I respawn or, or no? If I don't respawn, then that's extreme. No, I do. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. I respawn as a sword militia. Oh, very good. Okay, well, anyway. Point is, is she respawning extremely fast because she has no gear? Or is she respawning extremely fast just because that's the mode that this is? That's probably the case, isn't it? Yeah, that's probably the case. Anyway, I'm going to try and take out as many of these guys as I can. I really wanted to play as Moon Moon more because that meant that we would have, oh, obviously a lot more experience. Oh, did we already beat them? Apparently we already beat them. Well, that's that's very weird. Oh, no, no, there we go, there we go. No, we didn't, we didn't. I, I thought not. <laughs> I thought to myself, oh, no, that's a bit weird because there's still morale. They still have morale, so, yes. Hopefully, let's just, uh, yeah, come on, kill, the, kill them. Yes, there we go. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to get killed again, aren't I? Yeah. Brute peasants, everyone. They crush through your block. They do not care what you're doing. They just crush through your block and they, they just ruin your day. And that's exactly what they're doing right now to me, isn't it? Yes. Uh, and we are consistently respawning as a sword militia. And this actually makes me want to upgrade my sword militia because I think that we probably would have the upgrades necessary to, you know, deal with this. Okay, so they only have 96 remaining. This is actually a really cool difference. I feel like 
other mods should incorporate this kind of combat because if you think about it you know what about when you're when you're taking a thief and you know you you go in to fight the keep and you know you, you have to fight those four or five enemies that are inevitably there at the end and what if you do this instead you know because usually there will be a number you know a couple of hundred still left if the you know if the the castle or, or the town had about 500 or so and you kill 320 or whatever the number is in a regular siege and then you go in to the keep and then you're greeted by five people i mean that doesn't make sense does it no it doesn't really make sense so it would actually be a lot more accurate to have this kind of thing happen and that would be a lot more dynamic as well because you could also obviously just add different environments so you could have you know the streets and you could have the keep and you know you could have different layouts and things like that and that just shows the ingenuity of the mod creator here because obviously I I, I don't know I'm, I'm, a, I'm an extreme sort of fanboy about Blood for Land hilariously enough because I don't really get super enthused by by certain things but by this because it is so unique and you know everything i've already explained this in, in previous episodes so i'm not gonna go all crazy again but the point is is that this is just so unique that i feel like the ingenuity and the ideas in this could be expanded and if you wanted a free roaming experience which i know most of you may be missing i don't know i'm not particularly missing the world map but maybe you are and I think that's actually really cool. I think that is really cool how you could have all of these dynamic events actually still happen while still retaining the core gameplay of the strategy as well. I don't know whether that's even possible, to be honest. I think that the mod creator probably is skilled enough to be able to, you know, add the world map in. But I think that maybe there are just so many new systems that maybe it's just not going to work or I, I have no idea about modding by the way so you know there's there's always there's always that to take into account because i may be absolutely talking rubbish i could be so yeah but i, I think if anyone can do it then they can do it because i have a lot of faith in them which is kind of amazing because Usually I'm just like, oh no, you know, this is a very good mod, and you know that's that's basically it. But I'm, yeah, I'm very much enjoying this. Okay, so how may I be of assistance? You don't need any more assistance. Oh, you are terrible. What is your standing? I own many estates. Yes, you do. Okay, well, I was actually thinking that I might be awarded a something. I'm actually unsure what, but I actually thought that I might get an additional reward from him. That was not to be, though. That was not to be. So, hello. Yes, um, yeah, hmm. The Archbishop mentioned heretics in the area. Yes, they have settled. Would you be willing to... Yes, I would be willing to wipe out their camps. Why not? Let's try it. Alright, so this is going to be a standard fight. Oh, yes, I also don't have a nook. Uh, I did not give her anything. Where's Chadwick? Where's Chadwick? He's not here. For some reason. I have no idea why. Okay, well, yes. It seems like me saving up those, you know, those things in the last episode to get to the Iron Age really fast, that was probably not the best idea, so I'm not going to do that this time. I personally feel like doing something a little bit different here and just getting all the economy that I can get, and then just saving up a little bit and going from there, because these guys are going to take a huge amount of time to get over here, and Colborn is just going to absolutely destroy them on the way here, hopefully, because he does have a horse. I feel really sorry for a nook now because she doesn't have a horse or any kind of good gear. So that's a little bit of a shame. I don't know where Chadwick is though. Not entirely sure where Chadwick is. He seems to have disappeared or something. So that's a little bit of a shame. And whoa, Colborn already got killed by a heretic. I'm a little bit worried about that now. Is that is that supposed to happen? I don't think so. <laughs> oh no. Ah, well, I actually did come over here to this tree, and apparently it's not actually a choppable tree. I can't cut it down or anything like that, so that's a little bit of a shame. Whoa, that was easy. Alright, so let's advance to the Iron Age here, and let's get a couple more trade routes and all kinds of things. And Empress Riata? Why is Empress Riata on the on this map? Oh no, I'm a little bit worried about that now, because she's actually pretty, pretty good. Uh, okay. Is that Chadwick over there? I think that's Chadwick over there, so I think we're actually going to be okay then. I just need to continually upgrade our economy. 
I think we'll be absolutely fine once that happens. And I'm a little bit... <laughs> See, that's the thing. I feel like Chadwick probably has some really good stats. I probably should have had a look at that. But I was just really wanting to see what Lord Vankerman had for us, because I thought to myself, yeah, he's probably going to have a reward, but no, he doesn't have a reward for that, so that's okay, but anyway, let's try and help, <laughs> let's try and help Chadwick, he's not, he's not having a good day, is he? No, he's not having a good day. Ah, well, doesn't really matter, let's just kill them, ah, no, of course, you are going to have a much faster sword than I do, yeah, it's a much faster weapon. There we go, and kill that, well, these are all heretics, but they have wildly different gear, which makes them very dangerous indeed. All right, so let's get some of these. There we go. And I think we can actually get this now, can we? No, we need wood. Uh, that's exactly the reason why I was trying to find trees. I might be able to actually cut down one of those trees over there, but I have to walk all the way over there, and it's going to take me a long time. So probably not the best idea. Probably just going to... Oh, that was some damage. That was some damage. That was a headshot. And I was actually thinking before this recording started. Maybe I should buy a new helm. Yeah, because my helm right now gives me 26 to head armor, which is actually pretty bad. And I saw one that would give me, I think, 47 or something. So it probably would have been a really good idea for me to get something like that. But, well, what can you do? What I am going to do, though, is spawn a bunch of axemen. Yes. Come on, axemen. Help me out here, please. I would not like to die before you arrive. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Oh, no. Well, this is not going to work out too well, is it? Especially considering it seems like Empress Riata is actually walking towards us. Which is probably a bad thing. Okay, come on, kill that, kill that, there we go. We're actually surviving, amazingly enough. You know what I would love to see? If the mod creator is actually watching this, what I'd love to see is a building that slowly restores your HP. Yeah, I'd really like to see that, because even though... That might be considered a little bit overpowered. I think maybe restoring 1 HP every 5 seconds or something along those lines might make a huge difference to your longevity, but it would also make it so that you wouldn't be too overpowered in a burst damage situation. So, for example, if you, if you were to, you know, maybe make it tied to the temple or something along those lines, then the building could be built after the temple was built and after the relic was built as well. So, you know, and, and it might require a, a good amount of gold or a good amount of resources because you'd want to make it, you know, somewhat more expensive. And obviously I'm just giving a suggestion here. This is by no means a demand or anything like that. I just think that maybe something like that could be quite cool because I think right now I might actually be up to about half HP if we had some sort of passive, you know, regeneration ability. Well, Colborn, thank you very much. Good job, Colborn. Yes. Okay, well, anyway... Yeah, I think that might actually be pretty cool, but obviously that is completely up to you, if you so desire to add that. Anyway, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to be getting some caravans. Oh yes, going to be getting some caravans. And I'm actually thinking, should I should I even bother with that? Yeah, I think I think I probably should bother with that, because it seems like the big wave is, is probably going to come soon. I'm going to actually go back here. It looks like I'm absolutely confused, but don't worry. I actually do know what I'm doing slightly. Yeah. Thought I'd just add slightly on the end there of that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I wanted to find out where the caravans were going because they're obviously going to be something that we want to protect. So what I'm going to do is get an archery range. Get the composite bowmen. And they're going to run over there, aren't they? Okay, well, that's a little bit worrying, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to get some composite bowmen. And we're also going to get some axemen. There we go. Very nice. And now I'm going to put these composite bowmen about here. And I'm just going to leave them there. That's all I'm going to do. They're just going to stay there and hopefully they're going to defend because these caravans are very, very important. And hopefully they're going to mean that we'll be able to afford some rather expensive units. More holy paladins, Frisian knights, things like that. So hopefully let's be able to do that. Come on, kill this guy. Maybe. Yep, there we go. Thank you. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Okay, I'm going to have to run. Run! Run, moon, moon. Yeah, come on now. <laughs> Anook, Anook, save me. Ah, uh, yes, Anook is going to save me. Yeah, that's great. All right, let's build a stable, temple, and a relic. Ah, uh, can I not build a relic? Yes, there we go. Phew, that was close. I thought to myself, oh, no, I'm not going to have enough resources. But no, yes, I did, which is fantastic. Hopefully, we'll be able to then kill a couple and maybe gain another level. That would be nice. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, it seems like this guy might actually be attempting to kill us, which would be logical to assume, wouldn't it? Okay, so all these guys are... Ooh, yes, the composite bowmen are doing actually very well in defending themselves. 
That's always nice. And is there anything else I can do around here apart from die? Yeah. No. It doesn't seem like there's anything else I can do. Ooh, they're after the they're after the caravans, but hopefully the composite bowmen are actually going to defend them. Are they? Oh my, yeah. It seems like this might not actually be a very good idea. Uh, I was hoping that it might be, but it seems maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, well, I think what we should do is just kind of keep a, a little bit of a passive sort of stance on things now. Maybe more of a defensive stance. And then just let our caravans just run back and forth and get as much gold as possible. I'm going to try and help these guys. I really should have upgraded the composite bowmen. You are absolutely correct about that person that you know, commented that I should upgrade the composite bowmen. That was, yeah, I probably should have absolutely upgraded them f fully, you know, all the way. That would have made a huge difference right now because even though they're, you know, they're, they're not great in melee right now, they would be a lot better, and I mean a huge amount better, if I were to upgrade them a little. So, yeah, that was, that was my bad. Probably should have done that. Anyway, let's see if I can just kill this. Thank you, and... Ooh, you're scared now, aren't you? Hmm... Yes, that's what you get. That is what you get. Come on, kill him. Thank you. There we go. Okay, so... Mm, I'm unsure what to get now. I don't know. I, I really want to get, like, a huge amount of iron and gold so that I can just spam Frisian Knights. But the Pilgrims... I'm going to die here, I think. But the Pilgrims that the Holy Paladins give us... There's, like, how many of them? Five or something? I, I don't even know, but they're just really, really good. Yeah, I thought I was going to die there. Anyway, I think... Let's get some Holy Paladins. Well, I'm actually just going to... I'm going to play as a Holy Paladin. And, yeah, look at that. There's... What, what is that? Eight of them or, or something? I don't know. I, I'm not going to... I'm not going to bother counting them right now, but... The point is, there's a huge amount of them. And I would love to be able to... Uh, I'm just going to spawn a bunch of Frisian Knights. There we go. And we're also going to be getting a bunch of Axemen to follow that up. And then we're also going to be getting some Composite Bowmen and some more Axemen. Oh my, it's, it is a lot. There is a lot incoming to them. That is, yeah, they are going to regret whatever they're doing wrong here. <laughs> I don't even know what they're doing. Uh, anyway, let's see if I can actually kill this guy. Oh, this might be actually be the Empress. Ah, uh, yes, this is the Empress herself. Yeah, she's going to be very, very difficult to kill. Or, well, not that difficult, but, you know, she's going to take a couple of hits to take down. And I think we're actually pretty good. I think we're actually pretty good. So, hopefully our Frisian Knights are just going to sweep across the battlefield and kill any kind of stragglers. And then our Axemen can actually concentrate on the main base. Now, as you can see here, we're having some, yeah, having some rather amusing difficulties here because, obviously, the... Arrows are streaming towards us. Should I try hitting this from here? No, I, I actually can't hit this from around here, obviously. Gonna have to hit it from the front. Gonna try and interrupt the archers as much as I can, and obviously they now have a re reinforcement wave. Ah, of course. Okay, come on. Yes. Can you, can you? Yes, there we go. Frisian Knights, come in here. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's get a couple more Frisian Knights, shall we? Why not? Let's get another Holy Paladin too. And... Let's spawn some more Axemen. We have so much food right now that we can do that. And we're also going to have a bunch of wood. So I'm going to be doing that too. I don't want to build a keep. Thank you very much. There we go. Okay, so now I have 136 on the battlefield. And that should be enough, hopefully, to be able to assure a victory. But obviously that's really just dependent on what our units are currently... What are, what are, what are, what are they doing? What are, what, what are our units doing? I have no idea. I'm a little bit panicked right now. That's a bit worrying. Okay, well, if you could actually just, you know, come on, Holy Paladin. Can you can you just kill these? Oh, uh, okay, so it seems like there are a number of units of the enemies out on the fields of battle, and they are being quite annoying, because what they're doing is they're preventing us from advancing, because our Axemen are just like, ooh, shiny, and they're just chasing after them. So... Yeah, that's that's not the greatest thing. As you can see, look at that big wave there. They're just following those two enemies. That's exactly the reason why we're having a little bit of a delay here, I feel. But I think we should be fine. I think we should be absolutely fine. As long as we're able to just clear these out. And we have a bunch of things that we can spend here. So I'm just going to do that. And another Holy Paladin. And we're just going to get a bunch of Axemen. There we go. And we'll get some Huntsmen too. 
There we are. Yes, as I said previously, I feel like the combo between the Axemen and the Huntsmen are actually... It's actually pretty deadly, not because they're actually very good, but because you just swarm them. I mean, we're basically playing like the Zerg right now from StarCraft, and it, coincidentally, they are my favorite faction in that game, if you didn't already know, because obviously I've spoken about that in a previous series and other videos and things like that, but maybe, you know, you haven't been around for that. So, yeah, I actually do like the Zerg quite a bit, even though... I have no idea how the balance is right now. I, I have not played since Heart of the Swarm, so yeah, that's a bit of a shame, actually. Okay, now, if I could just clear out these guys, then we should be fine. But as you can see, it doesn't even matter whether we lose Axemen right now, because we have so many of them. I mean, I don't even know how many we have, but we have 140, 140 units on the field of battle, and this should be a done deal. All right, as the fall of the enemy base is upon us. We will be hopefully getting about, yep, 5,000. That's very nice. And there it is. Victory. There we go. Alright, so who did we actually talk to there? Yeah, we talked to the religious fellow, didn't we? We talked to one of the monks or priests. And yes, thankfully Chadwick did actually spawn into that battle after a little bit of time, so that's actually pretty nice. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just take a look. at We have 36,000 dinars, which should be pretty decent. Let's actually just take a look. Okay, Colborn needs to level up. His morale is low. I don't know whether that makes any difference, actually. It probably doesn't, because we're not running around on the world map or anything. And let's take a look. Oh, we can't actually take a look at their stats right now for some reason. I suppose I have to, yeah, I have to actually, ah, never mind. I'm doing it the old-fashioned way. I'm doing it the way that Blood for Land does not do it, and you have to actually speak to your companions. But I'll do that next time when we get back into our hometown or something along those lines. But I'd like to go over to the priest and see whether he's actually going to give us a reward and whether he's not going to be stingy like Lord Vankerman was. Yes, hopefully he's not going to be that stingy, but... Yeah. He, oh, no, wait. He's going to ask me for money, isn't he? Yes, he's going to ask me for to build the temple or something like that. Oh, oh thank you very much for the wool. Uh, thank you, Alfred. Now go and see Batman. <laughs> of course. Of course. How much money do you need? 12,000. I don't even know what the point of that is. I mean, I did that in the previous version series, and it didn't actually seem to do anything. Maybe you can let me know. I think there there is actually something that it does, but I've forgotten, obviously, because I'm very good at remembering things. Anyway, let's have a look at the skills. Okay, level one. Pretty reasonable with power throw, so she, we're probably going to give her some throwing weapons. And she has absolutely terrible equipment, and I don't actually have anything for her. I could give her this, which is a little bit better than what she has. And Chadwick, of course, is level four. He has a little bit better skills. And he's not a power throw person. He is a riding person, so we're probably going to be giving him a horse as well. So, with that, I thank you very much for watching. And I'm going to go and get my taxes now. And I will see you next time.